Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now and today I'm gonna take you through how to containerize your Docker application using Docker and Docker Compose. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So I'm I have uh, this project already, which is kind of simple hello world program uh, where we have a hello.java file and now uh, I'm gonna return this hello world.java. So for that i'm gonna uh, create a docker file first and for that i just need to use docker file uh, where i'm gonna use from uh image name image name would be maven okay maven and after that uh, uh you can use any version by the way jdk 8 or jdk 11 as well uh, so i'm gonna use this alpine version after that the second command would be simply copy files all the files from here to there okay and after that i'm gonna say run uh you can uh, use uh, you can write the command whatever you want like you can clean the package you can run the jar file otherwise you can uh clean install as well if you want okay i'm gonna use clean install and after that uh i'm gonna use uh, simply uh expose first uh, so we have a port uh which is 8080 default port you can uh, manipulate the port here as well and after that i'm gonna either run the java uh jar file or i can uh, i'll say i can directly use a me one as well so mvn uh spring boot and like that let me remove this thing and here i'm gonna say uh spring boot run okay so like the way you can uh simply create your docker file okay this is all we need to uh get started with it okay after that i need to use a docker compose okay so docker compose dot yaml file uh for that i'm gonna use uh a version first we need to define version which is 3.8 and after that we need to define services so services uh where you can define the any name that you want to provide to your service name which is app or uh, how you prefer to use and uh, after that you need to provide a build path where uh, the docker file is uh, given so this is my build path in the current directory only we need to find after that ports that you want to expose okay so this is the external port you can change it to whatever it may be and this port uh, should be the same as uh, your local spring boot project uh, wants okay so after that here i can define my container name as well if you want guys so container name would be app again and after that you can uh, proceed with environment variables if you want to provide some environment variables over here so uh, you can provide the environment variables as well and uh, you can uh, also define uh, the databases as well so like the way environment variable you can define i don't have any environment variable for now so i'm gonna now go back to the normal okay after that uh, i'm gonna save this thing and before proceeding you have to have docker available so if you don't have it simply grab your docker from here and you need to install docker compose as well so simply search for docker compose install and simply install your docker compose from here okay this is available for all the systems so you just need to uh, grab uh, for your specific package okay so after that you just need to hit this command you can grab this extension as well uh, docker from uh, uh vs code if you are using vs code then i'm gonna use sudo docker and now uh, docker compose actually and docker compose up and have an happen build in order to build first okay so after that it will ask for the password let me hit the password quickly and uh this is it this is it. it's going to take some time uh, in order to pull the image and uh, it's going to pull that maven image uh, which is i uh, let me uh, connect to the internet i am already connected to my internet so docker file create llb definition docker data i have not found let me go there in docker file i'm not uh, sure why i'm not getting this 11 version okay so let me try some other thing here okay and uh, let me use hyphen slim version if possible so inside that uh, i guess i'll get uh, uh so let's see uh now uh if i'm able to pull this thing or not yes uh, so we are uh, getting this thing it's gonna take time so till then uh i'm gonna pause this video okay uh till then we can do one more thing like uh let me go to the docker compose and let me show you if you are using any database like uh mysql postgresql mongodb whatever it may be redis or whatever it may be so in docker compose you just need to uh right here inside services where you can define which database you want to use like db let's say i'm going to use pg okay 
so postgres database for that you just need to define the image first okay so my image will be postgres of course okay and after that i need to define ports uh container name again uh you can define anything so uh, the your docker container will create will be created by this name only after that you can define uh environment variables uh, which is database user password and uh db a uh, name of course after that uh, the default port 5432 and uh, you can define 5432 like the way okay and let's suppose uh, so uh this is the b for uh postgres okay if you don't have postgres then what you can do if you are using mongodb then simply uh, write mongo here okay and after that simply define the image over here which is uh i guess uh this image image will be my mongo image okay and after that i'm gonna define container name again default port will be 27017 and this is it so this is all we need to do again in moment variables you can define if you want guys okay and uh and uh, one more thing let me tell you guys like if you are using this mongo then you need to link this those two things so you can use this links and here you can define the name of your like uh, mongo mongodb or uh, whatever uh, the name is so don't use the uh, mongo or postgres like this always use mongo db uh, like the way the name of container which is really very important uh, let me tell you guys why because sometimes we get uh, errors of course so after that if i'm gonna uh using uh radius then simply uh right here radius okay and uh like the way radius and uh rest of the things uh like the way you can define and uh, yeah i forgot about the volumes thing of course uh totally so let me tell you again what is volume so if i'm using this postgres okay let me show you if this is my postgres i need to define volume in order to persist the data otherwise every time if i rebuild this thing it the data will gone on for old data if you want to persist the old data you need to define something like this so it's gonna create uh the directories uh, here in your local folder and it's gonna persist your data so like the way you can persist your data only okay so let's wait for this thing to finish okay the maven is uh clean install is happening over here so again it's taking uh more than usual time so till then uh let me show you uh the last thing which is uh are you guys familiar with dot git ignore file so it will work like the same like docker ignore file okay uh like the way you can define your docker ignore files and all the folders you can define here which you don't want to push to uh your um docker okay so this is the thing that you can use if you want guys and uh where i can define node modules folder if you are using uh node.js or any uh library folders you can define over here so like the way it works uh usually okay and for the first time of course it's going to take time and uh, i hope you guys understood how to define volume if you you can define volume here as well and no don't forget to link uh everything okay otherwise uh it won't work it should be dependent on the database only so until i miss the database uh, it will wait for the database to get uh, started okay and uh, uh, one more thing i forgot to tell you about uh, this docker extension of course simply search for docker and uh, you will get this very first extension over here and uh, or whatever id you are using you just need to uh, search for the docker extension i hope you will get uh, for your respective ids and uh, i'm not sure why this is not working but after that uh, you you need to find in the extension and after that you can see all the containers uh, uh you can see over here all the images networks volumes registries and all the way up to uh whatever you're doing so you can uh, keep track over here okay uh so here we can see guys like uh this is running already so if i go here localhost colon 880 enter i'll get this hello world message over here so this is all we need to know in order to get uh, containerize the docker uh, uh like spring boot application with uh, any database so Thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you guys and sorry for this background noise i'm getting uh actually i'm getting this background noise uh, lots of kids are playing around here and now my software grips uh, is not working today anyways what it may be uh so i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe my channel and smash that like button and thank you so much have a good day Bye bye